Before we jump into the declaration, understanding what is significant, molecule gas pedals are the huge Hadron Collider, LHC, worked by CERN. It is a 17M ring of superconducting magnets and the world's biggest and most powerful atom smasher. It addresses the apex of human logical accomplishment. As a matter of fact, it's so powerful that it can reproduce the very states of the universe's introduction to the world. However, could this machine, designed to unlock the mystery of the universe, hold the key to something far more ominous? CERN, established in 1954, is one of the world's most renowned research organizations. With 23 member states and thousands of researchers, it is a center for cooperation and innovation. The LHC is CERN's flagship project, yet it's only one part of an extensive network of accelerators and experiments. Envision a circuit not for vehicles or horses, but for subatomic particles in a race against time and space itself. The LHC accelerates protons to nearly the speed of light, sending them on a collision course that mimics the energy of the universe at the moment of the Big Bang. The impacts create temperatures tens of thousands of times hotter than the core of the sun. Thousands of magnets guide the protons on their journey, while intricate cooling systems keep the magnets at temperatures colder than space. The beams inside the LHC are designed to collide at four points around the accelerator ring, corresponding to the locations of four particle detectors, ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each serves a unique purpose, investigating different aspects of particle physics. Together, they act as massive cameras, capturing snapshots of these collisions. Scientists then sift through the debris, searching for traces of the elusive Higgs boson, also known as the God particle, and other phenomena that offer clues to the fundamental building blocks of the universe. By studying the microcosm, we gain insights into the macrocosm. However, with each answer comes another question, and with each revelation, another challenge. The LHC isn't just a scientific instrument. It's a testament to human curiosity and innovation. It embodies our relentless pursuit of knowledge and our desire to understand the fundamental forces shaping our universe. Yet, as we push the boundaries of what we know, we must also consider the ethical and existential questions that arise. What are the risks of exploring the unknown? Could our quest for understanding inadvertently unleash forces we cannot control? In the sacred halls of CERN, where the limits of human understanding are constantly tested, a discovery has emerged that sends a chill down the spine of even the most seasoned scientists. Brian Cox, a former scientist at CERN and a prominent voice in the field of particle physics, recently made a declaration that has left the world both captivated and apprehensive. Cox's words resonate with haunting clarity. The goal of CERN's Large Hadron Collider is to reproduce a miniature Big Bang. Yes, you heard that right, a small-scale version of the very event that gave birth to our universe. The physicist further elaborated on the implications of this goal, highlighting the LHC's extraordinary potential for groundbreaking discoveries. This includes its ability to unlock the secrets of the Higgs boson and explore dark matter a mysterious substance that constitutes a significant portion of the universe. Imagine holding the power of creation in your hands, the ability to summon the very fabric of the universe. It's a tantalizing prospect, but one fraught with peril. The miniature Big Bang is not just a theoretical concept. It's a tangible reality within the LHC. The temperatures, pressures, and raw energy all replicate the conditions of the universe's infancy. It's like standing at the dawn of existence, witnessing the birth of reality itself. However, with such power comes responsibility, and the question looms, what if something goes wrong? In fact, something did go terribly wrong back in 1978. Russian physicist Anatoly Bugorsky encountered a tragedy that would forever alter the course of his life. While working on the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Protvino, Russia, a malfunction caused his head to accidentally intersect the path of a proton beam. The beam, with an energy level beyond comprehension, passed through his skull, entering the back of his head and exiting through his nose. Vygorsky's experience was extraordinary. He described seeing a flash brighter than a thousand suns 
but felt no pain. The beam's path left a trail of destruction, burning tissue and bone. Yet, he remained conscious and even walked to the clinic for treatment. The outcome was both alarming and fascinating. The beam caused localized tissue death, leading to hearing loss in one ear and partial facial paralysis. Amazingly, however, Bugorsky's intellectual abilities remained intact, and he continued his scientific career. This incident is not just a personal tragedy, but a cautionary tale highlighting the immense power and potential dangers of particle accelerators. The risks of a particle accelerator like the LHC should not be underestimated. The potential for unforeseen reactions, the manipulation of the fabric of reality itself, these are not mere science fiction. The risks associated with such powerful machines prompt critical reflection. Particle accelerators like the LHC hold incredible potential for advancing our understanding of the universe, but they also come with immense responsibility. These devices generate forces and energies beyond anything experienced in daily life. Forces that could theoretically disrupt the fundamental structure of reality. While no catastrophic event has been linked to the LHC, some critics have raised concerns about scenarios such as the creation of microscopic black holes or strangelets, hypothetical particles that could theoretically destabilize matter. Scientists at CERN have repeatedly assured the public that the LHC is safe and that these risks are either impossible or so remote that they pose no realistic threat. Rigorous safety protocols and peer-reviewed studies back these claims, ensuring that experiments remain within the bounds of our understanding. However, history reminds us that even the most careful planning cannot eliminate every possibility of the unexpected. The case of Anatoly Bugorsky stands as a stark reminder that the unforeseen can occur when dealing with such immense power. It highlights the thin line between groundbreaking discovery and unintended consequences. The ethical questions surrounding the use of the LHC and similar facilities go beyond immediate safety concerns. Should humanity possess the capability to recreate events that mirror the origins of the universe? Are we in our quest for knowledge, pushing boundaries without fully comprehending the potential outcomes? The debate extends to the societal implications of scientific progress. While advancements made through the LHC have already contributed to technology, medicine, and fundamental physics, critics question whether the billions invested in such projects might be better allocated toward addressing pressing global issues such as poverty, climate change, and public health. Proponents argue that these discoveries have the potential to revolutionize humanity's future, providing breakthroughs in energy, material science, and our understanding of existence itself. As scientists continue their work at CERN, they remain acutely aware of the delicate balance between exploration and caution. Their efforts are guided by a commitment to advancing knowledge responsibly, while addressing concerns about unintended risks. The search for answers about dark matter the Higgs boson, and the origins of the universe remains at the forefront of physics research, as does the hope that these discoveries will enrich our understanding of reality. Yet, amid these lofty ambitions, the cautionary tales of the past, and the questions about our responsibilities as stewards of such knowledge linger. The LHC is more than a machine. It is a symbol of humanity's boundless curiosity, ingenuity, and ambition but it also serves as a reminder of the profound ethical and existential dilemmas we face as we strive to unravel the universe's deepest mysteries. Fiction, however, genuine worries voiced by some in the academic community are quite possibly some of the most disturbing and spellbinding concerns related to the LHC's investigations. One such concern is the possibility of creating a miniature black hole. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. They are infinite vacuum cleaners, devourers of stars, and mysterious entities lurking in the shadows of our universe. The idea that the LHC could create such a phenomenon, even on an infinitesimal scale, is shocking to both the general public and experts alike. Could this black hole grow uncontrollably, swallowing the Earth from within? Scientists at CERN, however, have assured that any black hole created would be unstable and dissipate almost instantly. Nevertheless, 
This remote possibility has ignited debates, fears, and a sense of wonder about the power we wield. It's critical to understand how the LHC could create a black hole. It has to do with the fundamental mechanics of particle accelerators. When protons are smashed together at nearly the speed of light, the energy released is so immense that it warps the fabric of space-time itself. Imagine a tightly stretched trampoline, and then a heavy object is dropped onto it. The fabric bends and deforms, and if the weight is heavy enough, it could create a depression so deep that anything nearby would be drawn into it. This is a simplified analogy for what could happen in the LHC. In the realm of quantum physics, where the laws of the universe are both strange and beautiful, there exists a theory that extra dimensions might be hidden within our reality. If these dimensions exist, the LHC's collisions could exploit them, creating a gravitational funnel that forms an infinitesimal black hole. This enigmatic dance of particles has even captured the attention of world-renowned scientists, particularly the late Stephen Hawking. In his writings, Hawking warned of a scenario where the Higgs boson could become unstable at extremely high energy levels. This instability could lead to a catastrophic vacuum decay, an event that would not only destroy the Earth, but also obliterate the entire universe. The esteemed English cosmologist and astrophysicist Sir Martin Rees also expressed his concerns about the experiments conducted at CERN. In his book on the future, Prospects for Humanity, he explored the potential risks associated with particle accelerator experiments, including those at CERN. His words were not merely cautionary. They were tinged with a sense of existential dread. He discussed a worst-case scenario where a doomed experiment could create a condition called vacuum instability. This instability, in theory, could trigger a phase transition that would ripple through the fabric of space-time, resulting in a cosmic catastrophe that could engulf the entire universe. Rees's concerns were not confined to theoretical speculations. He assigned a probability to these devastating outcomes, though a low one. Still, even a minute chance, he argued, should give us pause. The stakes are unimaginably high, and the margin for error is razor thin. Scientists at CERN have calculated the probabilities, run simulations, and examine theories to argue for the safety of the LHC. In fact, physicist Brian Cox has emphasized the importance of responsible exploration, acknowledging the fears and concerns surrounding the LHC's activities. He highlighted the rigorous safety measures, extensive reviews, and protocols in place to ensure the collider's operations are conducted with the utmost care. Cox reassured that the energies involved are well within what the Earth naturally encounters, and the chances of creating a stable black hole are astronomically low. Even if one were created, scientists say it would be so small and so unstable that it would vanish in a flash of energy, a phenomenon predicted by Stephen Hawking known as Hawking radiation. It would be a fleeting moment of cosmic wonder, a glimpse into the void, and then gone. Some have gone further, speculating that the LHC's experiments could open a portal to another universe or dimension. While this idea is largely dismissed by the scientific community, it has captured the imagination of many and become a subject of fascination, fear, and even folklore. What lies beyond our reality? Could we inadvertently unleash forces or entities we do not understand? The notion of opening a doorway to hell has even been dramatized in various media, fueling uncertainty. But how did this idea arise? And what does it mean in the context of scientific exploration? The concept of parallel dimensions is not new in physics. String theory, a leading candidate for a unified theory of everything, suggests that there may be more than the familiar three dimensions of space and one of time. These extra dimensions could be compactified or hidden from our perception, but they could theoretically be accessed or revealed under extreme conditions. Now imagine the LHC as a cosmic key unlocking doors that have been sealed since the earliest days of recorded history. When protons collide at energies never before achieved on Earth, they could potentially tap into these hidden realms. The implications are immense. Yet, as with any frontier of science, there are risks as well as rewards. To summarize, the CERN Large Hadron Collider stands as a testament to the brilliance and ambition of humanity in its pursuit of knowledge. 
It is an instrument for unlocking the deepest mysteries of the universe. However, it is also a reminder of the profound risks involved in exploring the unknown. As we peer into the depths of the universe and delve into its intricate mysteries, the implications of our discoveries extend far beyond the confines of science. The questions raised by the LHC's experiments are not merely scientific but philosophical, ethical, and existential in nature. What does it mean to wield such power? Should there be limits to what humanity explores? Or does the pursuit of knowledge justify any potential risk? These are not new questions. They have accompanied every major scientific breakthrough in history, from the splitting of the atom to the decoding of the human genome. The Large Hadron Collider is a modern-day Pandora's box. It embodies humanity's insatiable curiosity and our relentless drive to understand the universe. Yet, as the ancient myth warns, opening such a box comes with unforeseen consequences. The question is not just what we will discover, but what we will unleash in the process. Despite the risks, the potential rewards of the LHC's experiments are staggering. By recreating the conditions of the Big Bang, we gain unparalleled insight into the birth of the universe, the nature of matter, and the fundamental forces that govern reality. These discoveries could revolutionize our understanding of physics and unlock technologies that are currently the stuff of science fiction. The search for answers to questions like, what is dark matter? Or why does the universe exist at all? Drive scientists to push the boundaries of what is possible. It is a reminder that humanity's greatest achievements often arise from our boldest ambitions. However, as we strive to answer these profound questions, we must also confront the responsibilities that come with such knowledge. The power to manipulate matter and energy at a fundamental level carries with it an ethical obligation to consider the consequences of our actions, not just for ourselves but for future generations. As we stand at the threshold of discovery, one thing is certain. The universe is vast, mysterious, and awe-inspiring. The Large Hadron Collider, for all its complexity, is a testament to humanity's ingenuity and determination. It is both a tool for understanding the cosmos and a mirror reflecting our deepest hopes and fears. In the end, the story of the LHC is not just about science. It is about humanity. It is a story of curiosity, courage, and the enduring quest to uncover the secrets of existence. Whether it leads to enlightenment or peril, only time will tell. But one thing is certain. The journey will forever change our understanding of the universe and our place within it.